G'day, how's it going? Adrian EVQuest, and today I'm at the Field Days in Hamilton at the BYD stand, checking out this. The new BYD Shark 6. Exterior features, you've got these vertically stacked headlight clusters, a prominent blacked out grille with BYD lettering, Full width LED lighting, there's roof rails, blacked out wheel arches, side steps, 18 inch alloy wheels, sports bar. Quite a boxy look overall I would say. At the back, you've got the vertically stacked tail lights, mirroring the front lighting design, BYD logo. And now looking into the back. You've got three three-point sockets, payload 830 kgs, and opening up the back. This button to open up the back. Looks pretty sturdy. Towing capacity, 2.5 tons, braked. And underneath, from the front, and from the back, underneath the shark 6 is a hybrid plug-in based on byd's dual motor off-road dmo platform it has a 1.5 liter turbocharged four-cylinder petrol engine with a 30 kilowatt hour blade battery pack four-wheel drive with electric motors front and rear for a total of 320 kilowatts Size wise, it's a little bit larger than a Ford Ranger. Acceleration, 0 to 100 in 5.7 seconds. Combined range is an estimated 840 kilometers, but that's on the NEDC system, not WLTP. So knock a bit off for that. The electric driving range is probably somewhere around about 90 kilometers. Price, yet to be confirmed. I'm feeling very comfortable. There's a lot going on. There's a lot going on down here with your gear shift selector, park reverse neutral drive, air conditioning controls, turn those off, heater, power button, park incline some sort of button, and then uh, start stop safety features down there. It's a little bit different for BYD, and you've got the sort of grip here, two coffee cup holders or tea or a glass of water feels soft that can go up and then in there two oh one usb old-fashioned one usb new fashion is it what's the thud like oh it feels good i like some vents you got your little display screen there plenty of uh functionality on the steering wheel here these are my safety side so that's classic being B, that's classic BYD. Nice stitching down in and out. Screen some vents while it's charging there. Um, screen's pretty classic standard BYD. Been in a BYD before. Functionality's pretty good. I do like how they've got a bit of. EV HEV, there's your EV HEV switch control. You got your, you can adjust your modes there. Terrains there. Headroom, good. Microphone control there. One over there. Two lights. So design language wise, interior is very much like the other range of BMWs. It is pretty much like the um, C line, which has just come in as well, I think, interior wise. Although this is a bit more. Box it up a little bit and heads up display up the front and then you've got your glove box that feels sort of a little bit soft good so very good let's try the back seat passenger seat front passenger seat is roomy good room for my legs there's a little holder there vents speakers stepping up my knees are against the seat, so that's my 6-2 placing, a little bit tight, 
tight on the legs. Headroom, headroom good. A little light there. Grip. I guess you got seating, seating for five or seating for four? Seating for five. Um, I'm sitting in here, the longer I sit, the better I feel. Two vent controls. Summing up on the new BYD Shark Hybrid Ute, I think it will go very well. There's a real demand for hybrids at the moment. I like the looks, it's well built and has interior comfort. What's your thoughts on it? Let me know in the comments below. And here is another video on a BYD hybrid. It's the new Sea Lion 6. Thanks again for watching this video and a like and or subscribe would be awesome.